Inside rain says put your head at a certain level. Outside rain is going to tell them to slow down a little bit or speed up with your legs, all right? So speed up with the legs a little bit. Heads up high. Okay. Heads up high. I don't want the head up high, so we're going to say, hey, put your head down. Put your head down. Good boy. Put your head down. Put your head down. All right. Now, the reason a horse puts his head up is so he can see a little farther, right? He gets a little bit hollow-backed, all right? But he's, as his head goes up higher, he can see farther away. And that's kind of a natural thing for him to do. It's not natural for him to carry his head low. And good boy for a nice, good walk, all right? It's not, good, it's not natural for him to carry his head low and do all that kind of stuff. So, and uh, walk fast. Now, once we're through that and we've gone through our transitions, we're, let's do some figure eights, just left to right, right to left off the rail, okay? And we can also do um, transitions at a walk and a trot in the figure eights. So maybe I'll just trot the top of the, or just get my little work and trot here. <laughs> He's got some go to him, that's for sure. All right, and through the centers, I'm gonna say, hey, put your head down and walk. At the bottom, I'm gonna walk. And I might ask him to trot up here a little bit. Slow down, buddy. Put your head down. Good boy. And now I'm going to ask him to stop his feet right here. Maybe even back up a couple steps. Good boy. Walk off. Head's nice and low. Okay. Trot. Okay. If it gets a little fast. I'm going to be adding a little outside pressure there. <clears throat> so you need to slow down just to just a touch. All right. I'm going to stay at this little trot here. If he starts rooting into the bit like he's doing there and just kind of pulling my hands down. All right, I'm gonna brace my hands a little bit and say that's not the right response to that pressure. I want you to just kind of give that nose to me. Keep going. Good boy. He is, has the smoothest trot I've ever been on any horse, I promise you. It's great. Okay. All right. So we're going to keep working on this, keep working on transitions, keep working on our figure eights, left to right. If we come back from break, I'll probably still be doing this. I'll be right back. You guys stick around. Are you tired of rope burn hands and hanging on for dear life? Well, then you need my bolting DVD. I'll spend over two hours teaching you step by step the process that I use to put the woe back in your horse. Whether on the ground or under saddle, You'll be able to safely control your horse in any situation. So stop that bolt before it happens. Go to ryangingrich.com and get your bolting DVD now. Does your horse spook or jump at nearly everything? Stop that spooky nervous behavior today. Teach your horse to be calm and quiet and get back in the saddle safely again. Horse expert Ryan Gingrich offers real help with proven results. Equine expert Ryan Gingrich has traveled the nation helping thousands of spooky horses. Help for you and your horse is just a phone call away. Order now by calling 800-359-4090 or by going online to ryangingrich.com. Have you lost control? Do you wish there was a set of simple steps you could take to regain back the trust you've lost in your horse? Well, there is. It's my basic control DVD. This DVD has all the elements necessary for achieving control and gaining back the trust you've lost. Basic control has six fundamental parts. Each part is designed to give you a better understanding of your horse. And I know you've been longing for a special relationship, and here's where it starts. Go to ryangiggers.com. Get control, gain the trust you desire, and make that special connection. So get my basic control DVD now. Is your horse giving you the hook, or are you just missing that connected relationship? Send your horse to the National Equine Behavior Center for some expert training by me and my staff. Each month, I take a select group of horses into my training program 
where they get the personal attention they need. Whether you're looking to hit the trail, excel in the show ring, or just have a safe horse to enjoy with the family, find that connected relationship through my proven training methods. Space is limited and results are guaranteed. So call now to reserve your spot, or for more information, go to my website, ryangingrich.com. Welcome back, again, I'm back here with Pistol Pete and we're working on our head down cue. So with, with this type of exercise, what we're looking for is um, him to just kind of keep that normal kind of flat plane from his withers to his, his pole. You know, that when I pick up this inside rein, that he's responding by bringing his head down, he's bringing his nose in towards his chest here, and he's just responding correctly each time that I do it. And the more we work with him, the better he'll get, um, the more, uh, the more work we'll have uh, under his belt and the more, more repetitions he'll understood that the, uh, the bit pressure that he's feeling on that, you know, basically the outside of his, his mouth and then a little bit on his inside of his mouth means to go ahead and drop his head down and kind of stay there. Now, what we're going to do here real quickly is just do some serpentines with him. And they're just going to be real wide serpentines, just kind of ride one direction and then pick up and go to the other direction. What I'm looking for him to do is to kind of keep his head level there throughout those transitions. A lot of times what will happen is when you go to pick up and you make a hard right turn, they have the tendency to speed up like he did there a little bit and drop and pop their head up from that, that uh, level plane. So if we see that, what I'm going to basically do is just say, hey, outside rain, slow down. Inside rain, put your head back down. Okay? And we'll continue just to do repetition after repetition. You know, what trains horses is just simple consistency and repetition, right? You can train them pretty much to do anything as long as you can do those two things and make sure that you do it right each time, 100% of the time. So let's go back to the trot a little bit here and just kind of maybe do a little serpentines there too. And this is going to be just real big. This is kind of a, a small arena right there. It kind of sped up a little bit. So I'm going to say, hey, slow down, put your head down. <clears throat> Good boy. That's what I want you to look like. Boy. Again, the faster the feet go, the slower your hands need to move. Okay? Talking about lightness, right? So lightness is in your hands, not only in the horse's mouth. The lighter your hands are, the lighter the horse's face will get. Okay, his responses will get better. Everything's gonna look a whole lot nicer the more time you work and spend with that horse. So right here he has head up, so I said put your head down. Alright, head up again, it's going too fast. Outside rain. All right, head up still. I'm gonna hold it this time, and we're gonna just work into a circle. Okay, watch your feet there, bud. So we're gonna work into a circle. Let's slow him down just a little bit here. And just look for him to drop that head down. There he goes. All right. Okay, so we're gonna just continue holding on to that pressure until he gets it right. Now, once he gets it right, all right, then we'll just, again, continue working with that, that, uh, this horse and, and continue working on his head down cue, continue working through his lightness. And all that's found on my, my lightness DVD. And that's, that's found on my website, ryangingrich.com. But there's some things real quickly that I want to talk to you real about, and that's troubleshooting. You know, what happens if, you know, your horse won't put his head down? What should you do? Well, you just add more pressure. Or, better yet, you go back down to the ground and you do your groundwork first. You know, I've been very fortunate to be able to ride Pistol Pete today, and I'm, I'm you know, pleased to be able to work with you guys. And, you know, go to my website. There's all sorts of different stuff on there, you know, as far as my Connective Horsemanship series that you can, you can see. And I'm going to take you through the basics to the more advanced type of stuff. And, you know, I hope to see you guys down the road someplace and some, sometime. And so until next time, I'm Ryan Gingers, the Behaviorist. You guys be safe. Have fun. Thanks.